The other day, I had an idea about how I could use uh, more keyboard inputs to automate some functions in DP, and um, and a Google search came up with a piece of software called USB Overdrive. It's a little piece of software. It's twenty dollars. What's really cool about it is it will let you automate keystrokes with various uh, input devices. You go to usboverdrive.com, buy a license for $20. Uh, once it's installed, it will show up in the preferences pane down here as USB overdrive. What you can do when we go into settings first, let's just check status. You see, I have two USB compliant devices here. I have one called USB compliant keypad. That's that little GE external USB numerical keypad, something I had used for another project way back when I was playing around with some uh, total different stuff. Uh, so I had it in the garage and I thought, let me get this out. I go do is go to settings. I'll do any of these and simply I'll go new duplicate settings. So I go what device type, we'll say it's a keyboard. Then I can choose which application will I control with this set of instructions I'm going to use right now. Right now I'll just use Digital Performer, which means if I'm in any other applications and pressing the keyboard, it will not send the information we're going to put into this Again, which device are we controlling? Well, we only want to use the USB compliant keypad, which means that like the one key, I don't want to send a one uh, because I'll use my numerical keypad on my regular Macintosh keyboard to send number one to DP and three to start recording and so on and so forth. I only want now to set up macros for this specific keyboard and we'll tell it what locations is at. So now the computer knows what we're doing here have to enable it for. Now all these we're not using, but what we're going to do here is add a keyboard key. Open that down and now I can click say number one on my numerical keypad. So now it says keypad one and you see it'll automatically comes up at numeric one. However, what we can do is we'll go to DP Look at our commands, say we want to add an aux track. So we see that add aux track is control, command, and A. So let's go back to the preference pane. And what we have selected here is the keypad we just set up. Now we'll click add keyboard key. Now I click on the keyboard key on that external keypad. So we'll go ahead and just delete that. So we'll use A, controlled command plus A, okay? So that's what we got here. So let's go back to DP. And now I simply hit the number one button on the external keypad. And there you go, one more aux track. Hit number one once again, aux track. What I usually will do in this case is, of course, this is a fairly easy keyboard command. So we might want to go away from that keyboard command because now we can program it to whatever we would like. So we could do shift alt command option A, okay, which is an insane keystroke, but we're not going to use it except when we're pushing a button. So who cares? Let's simply go here and add option shift. So control, command, option, shift, plus A, hit the number one, and there you go. We just got another aux track. So let's go a little further. One of the things I use a lot is in zoom. I like zoom out uh, all the way horizontally. And that is option, command, and arrow key left. So again, what I want to do is give this an insane keyboard command. So we are adding shift and control to that. So we'll go back now to USB overdrive, select that keypad, add which key I'm going to use. Say I want to use the seven key that makes sense to me right now. We will use the 
left key with control command option and shift so let's close that and if we go down here and push number seven key there you go fits right in the window another thing that i like to automate that i like to have as a just a one push button is zoom to previous zoom level which is zoom back it's command and bracket left again because we can use that key command to something else so let's make an insane key command here and go to USB overdrive add a keyboard command let me put that at 9 there we go so if I go back here push number 9 it goes back to my premium zoom numbers which is really cool say if I zoom in on anything right here and I will go back straight where I was. I can simply hit the number nine button. Number seven, I see everything. Number nine, I'll go straight back to where I were. So as you can see now with this extra keypad, I have the normal about 17 keys that I can use, but there's other keypads out there for, for USB that you can use with this. Or as you can see, you can designate um, a mouse or buttons on your mouse or trackball or whatever you're using of course some trackballs come with their own macro software so that's a whole different different thing but what i like about this is simply that you can designate one device to work with one specific piece of software now you could make up different key commands for other pieces of software you might be working with so if you're using melodyne or whatever uh, you want to automate some of your workflow there you can set up different things using the same keypad which then will change behavior just for when you're using in melodyne but this works very well with digital performer